Hello, I'm Dr. Tom Drake, and today I would like to talk about the link between OSA and depression. In obstructive sleep apnea, a person's airway collapses many times during the night, causing low oxygen levels. The brain recognizes this and releases chemicals called neurotransmitters, which cause microarousals, and this wakes the person up enough so that they start breathing again. If this happens many times during the night, a person's supply of neurotransmitters gets depleted, and then the brain doesn't have enough of this for normal daily activities. The result is a person feels run down, tired, and has lowered energy to do the things which might protect him from developing depression or anxiety. A four-year study found that almost half the people with obstructive sleep apnea had some degree of depression as well. So if you've been diagnosed with depression, be sure to get checked out for obstructive sleep apnea because you may find out that just might be the cause of it. Sleep apnea can be easily treated by CPAP therapy or possibly oral appliance therapy. I hope this has been helpful for you. Thanks for listening.